working out now and be with your kids forever. Now this is a topic that definitely hits home. The first story I wanna tell you about where health is wealth is back in 2019, which was only a couple years ago. I had fractured my knee, had complete surgery. I was hobbling around. I could barely even hobble around. And my son was born in March. This is Kai. And in March, I just fractured my knee a month ago I was unable to do anything when it came to daddy duties. Neri literally had to do everything by herself. Good thing we had Cindy Gung there to be able to drive us, but all I could do was care for myself. And it was then I realized that my health and my physicality were of the utmost importance. And I bring this video up because I think a lot of us lose the mentality about why our health and our physicality is important. And so today's video, I wanna be able to share some of the, the things that I wanna work on as I grow so that maybe that'll inspire you the next time that you get too busy or when money gets a little bit tight, that you continue to focus on yourself and taking care of yourself so that you can be there for the kids. Now we all understand that kids don't really value money when it comes like under the age of seven, even eight, they don't even know the value of money. The kid goes up to the dollar store and he comes out with a, a nickel and he wants to buy the monster truck, which is two bucks and you just kind of start giggling at him, right? And, but when we focus on ourselves, meaning when we're just stuck in the office or we're always stuck in the day-to-day -day grind and we're working and we're missing that cherished time with our kids and yet we have the ability to do so, I'm telling you, it's just not worth it. And so one of my life's aging goals is to be able to continue to be a beast that I am today as my kids become a beast on their own. In fact, as soon as they understand the concept of money, I'm gonna offer them each 500 bucks to race me from the stop sign to our house. And every year on my birthday, they gotta try and beat me. And if they do, it's gonna be 500 bucks in their bank accounts. And this is gonna do two things. Number one, it's gonna motivate them to continue to train hard as well, to beat daddy, to get 500 bucks. And then number two, is that it's gonna keep me in shape because I don't wanna give the money away and I don't ever wanna lose. I mean, if I lose, that's great, but it's gonna take many years for these guys to be able to beat me. So, as such, this is the in-season right now. So if you've got young kids like I do, we have to treat this like preseason training. Now, the difference between us and professional athletes is that professional athletes have a guaranteed time that they're gonna play. So like basketball is from September until about April, maybe May if it's like the NBA and it extends out further, but generally that's their like season. And then they have the rest of the time to really time it and prep it. Whereas when it comes to being an adult and raising young kids, you don't know when you gotta be ready. And so we have to start training now. If they're young, they're babies or, you know, eight years old or younger, we gotta be prepared. So for some of you, if you ever get called up for that mother-daughter or father-daughter hockey game or basketball game or figure skating or gymnastics, you wanna be that parent that's able to do the things with your kids. We're not just there to drop them off, sit on our phones and wait for two to three hours or just drop them off, go run your errands. Like all these things that we're asking our kids to do, especially when they're young, we're asking them to do it for our entertainment. And the best thing that you can do is get involved. And so the first note I want you to take is that your physicality, it doesn't start when your kids are already older and you can't keep up with them. Your physicality, it starts when they're young, you start training, doing your workouts five days a week, 30 minutes is all you gotta do. And then this way, when it comes to that time where they call upon you, you're ready. Right now, as a dad, you know, we got egos. We want to be able to shoot hoops with our kids. We don't want to lose a foot race to a nine year old. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. But I personally don't want to lose to a race to my seven year old right now. So, stay physical, stay active, stay ready. Now, the second point about health is wealth is that remember the last time you got sick. Now, whenever you get sick, what's the only thing that you want? You want your you want your health back, right? Like you're laying in bed, you can't get out of bed, your stomach hurts, your headache, you got a headache, you're coughing, you're sneezing, you can barely sleep, and all you're doing is just hoping to get your health back. You just wanna be normal. And so imagine now you're living your day slightly sick. Every day you're slightly slick. 
Well, that is like not taking care of yourself. Every day that you're not training your body, your body's not metabolizing yesterday's food. If you're not metabolizing yesterday's food, the body only stores it as fat. It's gonna use some of that energy that you've consumed, but your body is storing fat. And as you add on more fat cells, you become heavier. As you get heavier, it gets harder to move. As it gets harder to move, you get more tired. And then the small activities look like large activities and you just get lazy and tired and it's a repeat cycle. And next thing you know, it's way too late. And so the next time you get sick and you've forgotten how important your health is to you, meaning working out, drinking the water, getting your steps, you know, like those are the th key three elements when it comes to working out. The next time that you get sick and you need a reminder that, hey, like, man, you need to feel good all the time. Because if your body is used to a higher level of performance, then your body's gonna recover a lot faster than it would uh, a, a just an average Joe. The difference between some people that I've noticed, the people that are in shape and take care of themselves regularly versus the people that you know, don't eat the right foods, don't train, all they do is just work, sleep, and then just drive their kids to their activities. Well, the difference is this person, when they get sick, that doesn't take care of themselves, what ends up happening is they end up in the hospital. They end up in the hospital, they end up on medications, and they just see that, that, that this is how life goes because that's all they've ever seen. The person that takes care of themselves, the person that is drinking the water, working out daily, you know, is health conscious and doesn't see that their health is an expense. They see it as, as like, this is a mandatory thing that I gotta pay for. So they're, they're taking care of themselves, but they might be spending money on proper nutrition, a gym membership, supplements, whatever it takes. At least these guys, if they get sick, you put the two of these together in one room, one person needs hospitalization and care and they're gonna be in there for a lot longer than this person that might be down for one or two days, but on that third and fourth day, they're gonna rebound and be back to 100%. So you gotta ask yourself, what is it worth to you? What is your health? What is your sick days worth to you? And then, then you'll know that health is wealth. Now, if you wanna get on the healthy team, you wanna get do our five days or do a belly burn, if you're a member, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, send us a message, and we'll get you started today.